Hi there. Welcome to Apple World Logan. Paul has appeared to recuperate a ton of his disdain as of late, around five and a half years prior. He was in the intensity of it from the crypto zoo embarrassment, his reasonable jealousy towards his sibling Jake, and obviously the way that he treated George Jenko on Rash, which wound up making him head out in different directions and leave the show. It seems Logan Paul isn't precisely content with George Jenko getting Andrew Tate on his webcast and will in no time see the reason why, so make certain to keep close by till the end for all relevant information. Logan Paul has persistently tossed its at George Jenko for his web recording and its low perspectives throughout recent months, principally dating back four to five months. We won't be able to discuss straightforwardly with you however much we would like, yet damn, we've had a long run, a long and productive run, and, ah, uh, I simply need to say I value you folks looking for such a long time and being overall so extraordinary to us, which is extremely cool. Mike, that is exceptionally pleasant of you. No doubt we don't recognize him enough. We love you all. We love you all truly. Without you, this would not be anything. I didn't realize we were doing this at the present time. However, I simply know I get it. I love this outlet. I love this outlet, and it exists since individuals watch, and without people watching, I simply have a show like, um, yet in any case, George Jenko has stayed with it over the long run, and a portion of his episodes have done very well. He hit the big time with this Andrew Tate episode yesterday, which has proactively hit north of one million perspectives, and the criticism was astounding man in the years I've watched your substance. I've forever been so intrigued with the manner in which you can explore any discussion with any individual. You're an extraordinary speaker, and this was a splendid illustration of that. I was delighted to see that this show is doing so well. This must be the web recording episode of the year for me. I've learned such a huge amount from this video that I can detract from and apply to my life. George and Andrew are having discussions that should be tended to in the present society. Discussions like this are required. I remember when Logan Paul derided George for making his own digital broadcast. Nothing is superior to a decent dark horse story. I have been following since episode one, so I am pleased with you. George, what's more, similar to we've currently prepared from before in the video Logan Paul truly derided one of his closest friends for his web recording. When it just began, it shows a man's genuine nature in a circumstance like that. Logan Paul is the exemplification of a man who needs all that too. Rotate around him and assuming that anybody disrupts everything they're out, one reason fans love the new webcast highlighting George Jenko and Andrew Tate was their strict viewpoints and what it means. For their lives and how they push ahead as this was one of the principal reasons George left rash in light of Logan Paul's lack of respect towards his convictions and would choose not to see and not even listen to the person one that truly harmed me is you let me know I want a specialist since I trust in Jesus that one hurt no. I didn't, I said, you really want a specialist since Jesus isn't exactly doing it for you. What do I want an advisor for? Then Jesus isn't doing it for yourself. And I accept that I really want a specialist, for I don't completely accept that you're really genuinely mature. What do I want an advisor to do to inspire you to step up? And who in your classification has the capacity to understand people at their core? Yes, do you feel that is something a caring person would agree that someone I do? I love you. And I don't think Jesus is developing you such that all of you understand what it means. And when it happened, it was dazzling to notice since Logan not even once recognized George's strict convictions during the whole program. He was so sure of his perspective that it created the impression that he would rather win the contest than partake in it. Fans immediately understood this, and it denoted the start of a progression of occasions that most likely brought about Logan and Mike terminating George due to how different their viewpoints were from theirs. For this reason, I love George. I've as of late been drawing nearer to God, and I love this. I feel for George. I attempt to assist my companions with drawing nearer to God, and they basically giggle right in front of me like this. The handed down shame for Logan is excruciating in this episode. From calling himself a virtuoso, while straightforwardly being oblivious to how he falls off to out and out being shown to be the most unmature of the gathering, it is truly something. The way that George supported himself and his religion when Logan expressed those things made me so glad to see individuals defending their conviction. God bless you, George. Something wonderful about Logan is that regardless of the number of outrages, he that ends up in it generally figures out how to pull off it. What stunned me the most was that Logan was quiet examining George's confidence 
on a digital broadcast when he wasn't in any event endeavoring to contend. Rather, he was only searching for a battle when he was on rash. What did he share with him behind the scenes for those that haven't seen the George Jenko and Andrew Tate digital broadcast, just section one by? The way as the subsequent episode drops on the 12th December, which will likewise do gigantic numbers. However, here's a sneak look. And you're correct, you must be cautious who you're around on the grounds that you are the Sioux of the Five Nation. You invest the most energy with definitely you are who. You spend time with man. There's a motivation behind why God says sheep better believe it. We're sheepy, all of us are sheep. You can see the reason why the episode performed how it did as two people are. Receptive and have an eagerness to pay attention to each other, while when George Jenko was on rash and would attempt to get his perspectives across, he would constantly get disregarded and closed down. Before we go any further into the video, what are your folks' considerations on this whole? Circumstance is Logan being pungent for taking digs at George in his digital broadcast throughout recent months, particularly now the reality he got his chief adversary, Andrew Tatton, or does Logan reserve each op? Ion to be irritated remarked down underneath, despite the fact that there aren't as a huge number to George Gino's webcast, as their specialty to hasty it checked out for George to send off his own show, since on the off chance that you pay attention to him on the Rash show, you probably heard him stray. From the subject in question and talk about something more significant when you watch George all alone web recording the thing that matters is apparent having unlimited authority over what he says and does on his digital broadcast has supported his excitement information and contribution. This demonstrates that he didn't give impulse of his all. When his experience on the show was reaching a conclusion, George has stood up against Logan since leaving Rash. It's obvious he's actually wounded by the whole circumstance, however, realized it must be done ultimately, as it basically wasn't working. Have you discussed the drive? All things considered, and simply being finished, with its, its bizarre man cut. Like, I was poking fun at it. Like, uh, I was, I was discussing, like, um how I was dealt with, like, with regards to, like, what I kidded about on the show. I um, mean, afterward, we had a conflict I left, and how I was raised resembles in the event that you truly have a conflict on my F around with my life, so. Kid about yet. I don't make genuine, and he took it to a level where it resembled genuine I'm at a point right now, where I need distance from the two of them. I believe nothing should have to do with it, and I simply continue on with what's going on with everything. Me up, brother. The love is still there for me. It's a disgrace they have known one another since the plant days and exploded on the web around a similar time. So for them to go this far in their vocations to now not even converse with each other is really disturbing, and ideally sooner or later, they can figure their disparities out. 